We do have a pretty spectacular view. There's only a chink of the sun's bright light left. But actually, what's surprising me the most is it's still very bright up here. Look at the light through the window. I mean, our telescopes are showing you, because of the special filters, the light of the sun and there's darkness around it. It's still surprisingly so bright, despite the fact that there's only a tiny sliver of the sun left. And I can tell you, it is the most wonderful thing to experience up here. We're only seconds away from totality. Remember, this is only possible because even though the sun is 400 times bigger than our moon, at this moment in our solar system's history, the moon happens to be 400 times closer to Earth than the sun. And so they appear the same size, and the moon can cover the sun up completely. We are edging ever closer to totality. I'm looking out for those Bailey's bees, the last chinks of brightness coming through the gaps left by this, uh, the moon's uh, rugged landscape and of course then hopefully the diamond ring. There's no other planet in our solar system that experiences an eclipse like this one. Of course, as, as the moon continues to edge further away from the Earth, about three centimeters each year, in about 500 million years, we'll never have a total eclipse again. But look at this. This is Bailey's beats in, I mean, I didn't realize they were going to be so bright. Look at that. And it's almost like one ginormous diamond ring left set in a circle of brightness encircling the moon's shadow. Oh, are we seeing features that look suspiciously like prominences? This is where the chromosphere becomes visible. <gasps> there it is, the diamond ring. And we have reached totality. We have reached the most incredible moment in a total solar eclipse. There is the corona, the sun's faint, thin atmosphere that you can never see usually. You can only see because the moon has now completely eclipsed the sun. There is one tiny thing on uh, one tiny feature at about 11 o'clock that looks like a prominence potentially. It could be part of the chromosphere, the inner atmosphere of the sun. This is extraordinary. <laughs> You can see with our closer camera more features of the chromosphere peeking through the sun's activity. It's redder in color because we are closer to the sun. Look at that. We are definitely seeing prominences here and the beautiful red light of the chromosphere. The layer of the sun's atmosphere before the corona. I never really thought it was going to be quite this moving and we are being plunged into darkness.